Hello everyone, welcome to Chirag's MySQL Tutorial Group. In this video, we are going to learn how to do master slab replication in Windows. MySQL master slab replication. So, I am using the two gem, serve, uh, gem control panel here for the MySQL master slab. So, master is the one, one server and slab is another server. Always we will do like that. Master we can uh, configure in one server and slab in another server. But in testing demo purpose, I am doing the in same system. So, I have installed two gem server. One is there, another is there. So, I change the ver uh, different version so we can easily recognize both the uh, version. So this is on the gem server one, and this one gem server two. This is three point two point two, and this is three point two point four. So already we have discussed about the uh, default port of Apache, and uh, now I'm starting the Apache. I'm starting the MySQL also, here. and in second machine. I'll uh, doing the same thing. I'm just starting with the uh, gem server, gem Apache, and here I'm using the port 100 for the Apache and 555 for uh, SSL port. And MySQL here I changed the port into 3307 because only same port if we we'll put the in MySQL it won't run. So example, I'm just changing the port. Just go to the config and open MySQL INI and here I'm putting the uh, 3306. I'm run, running with 3306. Just control save, save and start. So what I am getting here, error here. Error MySQL shut down unexpectedly. This will be due to the block port missing dependencies or something else. So here I am going to the config. Config there is a my dot ini. Go here and change the port to 3307 and also using 3307. Control S. Both the port are changed. Now I am going to start. So port is started. Okay. So next. So next part one, I'll just do the configuration in master uh, master server. So log into the master server, edit the my.ini file. So my.ini file that will be in inside the MySQL folder. So I'm opening yeah, first MySQL help open with the MySQL INI or you can browse the location, explore the file uh, explorer and you can open the mysql so directly here can we can open with the config and mysql i9 here what are the changes we need let me check so here i'll just do the bin log so edit and modify the configuration in mysql so bin log so log bin is already running or not we can check so let me uh, connect with the cell so here mysql minus u Word. So bin log. We have so binary logs. I write full. So there is some binary logs are there. We can clear the binary logs that's not so issue and uh, we have to set the path so meanwhile i'm going to set the binary log path so here i'm changing to bin bin log to c and path so let me check the binary log control f log bin so master slab default replication there is a log bin so i'm just changing this one too and previously you will you will be able to see like this as will be there so i'm changing this total line to c drive and here i'm creating one folder mysql master log so control f and second server id is one i'm putting server id is one so in c drive 
I'm going to create one folder that is a MySQL master logs. So there's an empty folder. Next, comment this line if you want to remotely access to the server or you can bind with the IP also. So later on videos, we'll, I'll show you how to bind with the particular IP with, the, with this MySQL. And here I'm not doing with uh, this. I'm for localhost. We don't have any problem of that. And so next, restart the MySQL server. Let me restart. We started successfully. Let me check the so binary log is created. So binary log is created. That's the index file, and there is a binary log. Now let me show the binary logs. So there is only one binary log. That one previously I was created or didn't clear that. So that's why that is coming. Now my original binary log is 001 and there is a file size is 311. In the next part, just I'll uh, okay, I created this one, restarted and login. Now I'm creating a user for my replication. So there is a command create user my replay or for the local host or you can put the IP. There is an example. I'm giving the IP for that. And example is also there. So in this example, we can write like this also. Both the way we can do. So this is my local host. So I'm putting the local host and identify by I'm giving some password. Let me copy this line, this simple line, and here so I'll write this command user and uh, uh, replay, and there is a local host identified by password. Enter successfully. Let me close this. Next, I'm giving the permission replication slab to all the databases for the my replay user at local host and i'm going to plus the privileges all are affected now i can change the binary logs for the binary logs here i can change Check. so binary log is on previously it was it will show up and oh, binary logs file location I can able to see with this okay. in C drive there is a binary logs and binary logs index file is this one. and next so here I can show the binary logs now sorry binary logs so binary logs file size is 748 next execute below command to uh, log tables and take backup and view file position file and everything is there i want to say one thing if you want to for do for the uh, existing data uh, existing db means db have already too many databases and replicates uh, in slab server with you don't have any databases then you can all the you can just uh, back up all the database term in single file and you can import that one so we can do through uh, we can do in there and that way also and second way you can do uh, one uh, we'll create the new database automatically it will replicate to the secondary database so let me create one backup that's not issue so let me create the backup or later on we'll do this part so i'm not locking this uh, table lock just leave this one and go to the slab server slab server find the uh, binding and if you replace you replace with the slab server ip so we can do that one also so this one must 
chapter one and i'm this one slab server 2.3.2.4 uh, so let me open the scale let me change the color that will be quite easy for me to take that so screen background i am going to give the white and font where is the font color screen text screen text i'm giving let me check let me close that check yeah now this is okay this one this one my master this one my slab here i am logging my sql minus q minus p so in this uh, i logged in with the ser second server and let me uh, okay. okay bin log configuration for the slab server so let me create one more folder bin log in c drive master bin log is there and slab bin log i'm creating file is uh, also empty now uh, configure the php and ini and put the these two lines so open air uh, go to the config my dot ini collapse login let me search the login this there is a login just replace this file already uh, in bottom server id is equal to two is uh, one is there i'm putting server id is equal to two this i'm going to close this one let me restart if any uh, thing error will come will show here. so now let me go to the slab server also i'm getting some sub block files okay. now next part both the server are configured now i have to configure to, to specify the following details to max sure that replace the following setting so i have to port the uh, access from the master uh, from slab server to master server, master server so i'm going to stop the slab server first this is my slab server let me stop so connect uh, my sql has gone away database in uh, connection id tool so we don't have any database now so here i have a i have command previous in previous one i have to check the position so 7 uh, 748 was the position and this is the file name same thing i'll do here copy that Great. this one file name is same now one two three four five times zero and one three to five times zero and one and there is a seven four eight so this one position is seven, four, eight. be careful about this i go at the rate one two three and all the things and uh, the master username is my replay already created in the master i'm doing just working with the slab so slab side i'm just creating this one so where is run successfully so now i'm going to start slab i started so let me check the uh, databases in the slab side these are the databases and master side Databases. So databases. Let me arrange both the data side by side.
here I have seven database right side also now seven database is there so what I'll do I'll just create one database before that let me check the process and we can check the master status and slab status also later on we'll do here let me create one database So I'm creating track DB here also. So database is not created. Let me check the process. Seventy seven, there is a and slab status. Okay, do you have any error? Yeah, uh, from when we're reading for one dot not name of the binary from got error and 748 but 877 reset Check the slab status eight seventy seven. See now I am able to see the eight seventy seven and now I do the so databases so Chirag DB is just created for me. Eight, eight databases are there. Now I'll create one more database. Database test. So the so database is so database is created. Now I'll just do huge test and we can create the table that will also be affected. So in this way we can just configure the replication. Replication is quite easy. So that is not a uh, big task for it. And uh, some other codes are there and if you want to just get all the databases then you have to take the backup of the database and database here anywhere we have uh, yeah i have to take all the backup of the databases then first i have to lock the uh, tables with the read lock i have to stop the application then i have to just lock the tables then I'll just take the backup of the database and same thing I'll just import into the slab server and I'll just start and don't forget to unlock the table so that is the second step so here we have learned how to do master slab replication in Windows so hope this will help thank you for watching